Hello, hi. If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. All right, cool, enjoy the video. It is time to watch an incorrect summary of Metal Gear Rising Part 2. And now I will hit the play button. Metal Gear Rising Sons of Delivery and DiGiorno is my favorite political and economic simulator well intended to teach the player the basics of price slashing and how to best divide the country as quickly <laughs> as possible. The answer, of course, is manually. In this visually engaging stock market index, we play as Jack the Wood Chipper, a man, probably, on a quest <laughs> to renew the job market one life at a time. So if you've seen part one of my philosophically charged video essay on the deep and interesting Metal Gear lore, which... Would you call that a video essay? I, I, I have a standard of what video- It's a joke, it's a joke, move on, move on. I totally understand, then welcome back. And if you're viewing this series for the first time, well, that's technically okay. You're just gonna be <laughs> more confused than an American at a salad bar. <laughs> oh shit, wait, this is nice. Gun of the Cripriots. Damn. All right. <laughs> Last time on Metal Gear Raisin, Guns of the Priests. Okay. <laughs> but as for now, our protagonist, Raiden with... Was that the whole video fast forwarded to last like... All of two seconds? Holy shit. Biden is forced to argue with a decapitated head about memes. That's not made up. I know the rest is made up, but that's genuine. Apple bottom jeans, Biden. What boots with the fur? <laughs> Fresh off his adventures to the orange dimension and the insides of American police, it's up to our hero to a Damn. Venge Obama's death through the slaughter of the unmelanated, learning the true meaning true. of peace through many trials, tribulations, and his guest seat at the Joe Rogan podcast, finally finding himself at the entrance to Amazon warehouses with manageable stab wounds. Ugh, and a <laughs> tiny token black person. What the fuck? Key and Peel, the <laughs> made me delirious. Tell me a story. There once was a silent I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Holy shit. Raiden heads into the hotel lobby, hosted by Mr. Mosby. <laughs> After which, the game sends the ATF to stop me from freeing the Second Amendment. I am forced to take matters into my own hands. This was back when turret sections were the pinnacle of game design. True. Excuse me, fellas, I'm just heading to this normal-sized elevator. And the turret section in this fucking sucked. A lot. And I did not enjoy having to do that. Raiden, I'm playing another gotcha game, okay? Please destroy all okay. records of my credit card debt before the police come. Welcome, one and all cost, to a classic stealth game named Metal Gear Solid 2. We're currently undergoing a secret mission to destroy Scandalous Snake. Raiden, we, we have to prevent Joe Biden's America. You have to stop <laughs> You're too late, Corn Pop. I have already vocoded your voice to Gangster's Paradise. We use our Batman vision to carefully locate the bank records and also the rocket launcher. This puzzle is a great way to simulate the real office experience if you work for blizzard so after Damn. sponging the records of overwatch 2 Raiden runs through fucking black Fr wait when did this video come out oh a year ago did overwatch 2 Overwatch 2 came out what a couple months ago Friday. this makes vietnam look like clown college we even have a richard nixon huh <laughs> As you can see, the situation has escalated. I'm alive! I'm a Huey, and I'm coming! I wonder how long editing that part took. Cause that was... That was a lot. What is up gamers, Maxor here, and- I appreciate the Sonic Unleashed music in the background too. Very good touch. Today we're gonna be entering the, um, the, the what the fuck? <laughs> so it turns out that Bezos is a real big fan of Japanese culture. Like, a really big fan of Japanese culture. To the extent that he filled this building with ninjas. Don't worry, they still use rockets. The decor is- Yeah, they're, re they're re really, really, really bad ninjas too. Oriental, it's killing dolphins. Raiden traverses the hidden leaf village with the DK crew. 
<laughs> the first elevator built and designed with elephants in mind, or just your mom. On which we fight a gauntlet of enemies for several minutes as I reenact my trips to the Humane Society. You will never catch me, nor will you find the weapon. How tall is this fucking building? This is half of the level. So we get off of yeah. Mr. Bones Wild Ride, which allows us to booze and cruise all the way to the moon, apparently. What is that music <laughs> up here? <laughs> Oh golly, oh gee, oh Gillibrand. I can't wait to see what the game has in store for me now after all those long combat arena. What? So I want everyone to be my cool and- <laughs> The genuineness in the- What? <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute, I gotta hear that one again. I gotta hear that one again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Original now, after all those long combat arena. What? So I want everyone to be my cool and original boss design named Mistral. This is essentially what the Patriots were doing the entire time. AI Dennis Prager was merely a distraction. These fuckers were synthesizing VTubers. So now we have to fight their robotic fleshlight and her huge testicles. This battle <laughs> serves as a great moment to see just how far you've come as a player, both in ability and tolerance for the best game mechanic. Honestly? He's not wrong. He is not wrong. Because, um, there were people who, like, caught this part of the game a run killer because, oh, they forgot how to fight the boss or they didn't want to fight the boss again. They didn't want to do those mechanics all over again. And they just got their shit pushed in. They were complaining left and right about it. And it's like, buddy, you just did this not too long ago. Welcome to the vibe check that, like, every action game has. Like, <laughs> deal with it. Don't worry, though. I'm still very bad. I have never seen that attack before just now. I gotta say, that was kind of cool. Thank God that shit's over. Now we can move on. God damn it. And before this part continues, this is what I meant in um the last Maxer video that I watched where or was it when I was with my last stream I was playing Metal Gear. Either way, one of those two. This is what I mean where they'll introduce an enemy and it'll be like really cool and really neat to fight through. But then it'll just become like regular healing fodder. Like in the immediate next mission, and it like really diminishes the impact that that enemy had. And I can understand, you know, Mistral being in this section as, as hey, fight this motherfucker again. But having just fought Monsoon, not even like I'd say 15, 20 minutes ago, and then having to fight him again. That's like, oh, I just did this, and now the impact of that is lost on me. However, the memory should still be there, and you should know how to deal with them, but the impact of the boss fight is gone. Really bold move making me fight Monsoon again after 20 minutes. And yeah, right, that see? See? What did I just say? What did I just say? It's the pants attack. Fucking Skeletron Prime looking ass. I guess you could say a good meme never dies, Jack. God, please take me out of this hell. I've had enough memes today. Look, it, it's Shadow and he, he's a nice cock. <laughs> Pretend you didn't see anything today. Well, 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 if it ain't the feds. Unhand these brains, Jeff. They're children. Yeah, kids are cruel, Jack. They just lose touch with it at the ripe old age of 12. Wait, what? <laughs> Crime this, can't eat the drywall that. Microwaving mice is wrong, they say. What the fuck? Not Ooh, what the fuck? Kids love video games. That's why I got them all set up spinning the wheel on my favorite gotcha games. Huh? How else is a man supposed to make his impact? You Stop. a preschool for fucking JPEGs. <laughs> you <laughs> think I made the market for gone, you jack? Like every casino's just a big old conspiracy? Bullshit. Gambling's just a part of who we are. I just market it to sexy children. Besides, he can't, he, he can't even get his own fucking line out while laughing, bruh. <laughs> Products is about to skyrocket like the good old days after 9 11. Wait a minute, 9 11 is bad. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Wait, what did that say? Debate this on 11. Wait a minute, 9 11 is bad. Shit. Speak. 
Gotta read that. Days after Wait a minute, 9-11 is bad. My entire channel was once demonetized for three months because I showed a si Wow. Holy shit. That's that's tough. Bad. Speak for yourself. Let's debate this on the roof. <laughs> Looks like you're a gotcha player at heart. Is that because of my brain damage? No, it's because you go after children. And there ain't enough room in this preschool. Yikes, bruh. <laughs> Ooh. I really do. As, uh, 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 okay, okay, hold on, hold on. As bad as it is that the Genshin fandom has that stigma attached to them, the jokes are still funny. But it's also bad because some of those jokes are true. And that's not good for anybody. For the two of us. What the fuck? Like I said, kids are cruel, Jack, and I love my <laughs> Wait, he has RGB swords too. Welcome to the, the Bastard, featuring his tax shield. This battle is comprised of two distinct phases, each one easier than the last. And for some reason, a helicopter. Go, go, gadget. Cons I hate the fact that there's a lingering helicopter in this fight this entire time, and it can cost you your fucking perfect if a single bullet grazes your goddamn ankle. Shield carry. In his first phase, we simulate beating to death a cheeky goblin using money to compensate for his lack of human empathy. And by the second phase, it's quite obvious why he does it. This means it's up to us to cut each shield individually so we can play the game. And yes, you explode when you miss. Not only this, but his health is the length of a Cambodian life in 1977. <laughs> Meaning, once you get past that, the fight is basically over. In fact, it's quite easy to just not get past his shields ever and straight up kill him the fungular entertainment Way, featuring uh -huh. Sheldon Cooper from the Big Bong Sorority. But if you do this, you're basically annihilating all enjoyment from orbit. I personally recommend standing there and just waiting for Jeff to, uh, present. So enjoy that second phase <laughs> while you can, because this music is a gift from God. Let's go! This is as bad shit as it looks. Can you tell that's my favorite song? I upgrade Raiden's item. Very good choice. Like, Red Sun goes fucking crazy. There, there. <laughs> There's a reason that that song is on my gym playlist. As we board a helicopter, being driven by a uh, uh, doctor, how did you get an aircraft? <laughs> oh, credit card debt. Oh, of course. <laughs> by the way, Raiden, do you remember that bank you sent to the past tense? It was like carving a pumpkin. Well, I think you missed one. I can't go to prison, Raiden. Why? Because you play Genshin? No, Raiden, I'm a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> well, time to kill myself. What the fuck are you talking about? There's so much Hearts of Iron to play. I'm gonna not see you in a second. Not today, I guess. So, <laughs> Raiden anyways, and he responds by dividing the public. The hard way. Nice. <laughs> so, Raiden hits his head so badly that he lands in a, uh, a different game. The volume is a little bit of... <laughs> You know, it's just slightly, uh, it's kind of loud. I mean, the graphics are, um, a little different. Raiden heads to the gas station what and the uses the Zandatsu to cut through the environment <laughs> dynamically. Yeah, that, uh, that seems like how it works. This isn't even Metal Gear Rising anymore. I'm just playing Roblox games. Raiden survives the impact of a sedan when I was a child and gets utterly destroyed in Denver again, just like me on a Saturday night, and is forced to play a previous level, but backwards. Thank you, level designer. Yeah... In in context of like the game it made sense, but even then I wasn't a fan of it having to uh, do you know do a level backwards. And now I'm not a fan of it, but you know, cost in sm well not small and like huge air quotes game. And um you know resource management, blah blah blah. I don't make games, I just understand how they work. Wait. 
Is that Undernight music? This sounds like Undernight. Oh shit, a free bike. <laughs> Don't worry, it's a rental. There are rumors that the Nords are attempting to capture the whole of Solstheim. Anyone looking for work should consider the Fighters Guild. I hear they're always looking for new recruits. Right, and you ran over a child nine miles back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, so now you decide to stop. I'm running <laughs> late. Oh, don't worry, Raiden. The college is closer than you think. Yeah, it's right in front of me. <laughs> Kill yourself. Your ass will always be cringe, and my ass will always be thick. 497 North Parker Drive. Oh, good. <laughs> You're getting more based by the day. But I live with my mother. Is this her house? Whoa! That was cool. Swordsmen of various speeds. It's up to us to defeat the weakest Brazilian male. This guy's out here making <laughs> the rainforest look like a fucking joke. And the best part is, there's no bullshit in this fight. No minions. No shields. No monsoon telling me about fucking Among Us. It's just you, the sunset, and the soil. This is the best boss ever. Holy shit! Right into disarms Wham Slam Bam Sam, which causes him to lose his McFucking marbles, and this somehow <laughs> makes the fight harder. I mean, he straight up punches you like he's in goddamn Yakuza. Hey. Raiden, True. This cool bug I found. Oh, Raiden, no need to flip out. <laughs> Dude's got thunder thighs bigger than the power grid. Sam will test every single neuron in your corpus callosum with unrelenting and dangerous attacks. This too was a quote unquote run stopper for people who played this back then who didn't want to take the time to learn and get good at action games because fucking. If the regurgitated boss fight in Mission 4 was a vibe check, this was the fucking, if you cannot beat me, you're not gonna beat the game. Period. And, uh, yep, there were quite a few people that I knew who swore to high heaven and back that this fight was unfair, and it was cheating, and it was this, and it was that. And I look at them, and I play the mission right in front of them, and it's like, so you were saying the fight was unfair, and blah, 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 blah. And mind you, I was doing this on Revengeance difficulty, so there was no room for making mistakes or being unfair or whatever. But just as I said in um my recent video about skill issue and whatnot, there were people playing this shit on fucking easy mode and could not beat Sam. And therefore couldn't beat the fucking game. Ugh. Strong enough to burn a hole in my Adderall supply. It's not a drug problem, it's a drug solution. <laughs> that is just phase one. God help you when he picks up that sword again. God damn, I love his editing. <laughs> I don't have a choice. I challenge you to a debate. What the fuck? No. Dies of cringe. So Ryan goes to inspect his kill like a cat, only to realize that he has no cybernetic enhancement. This man dunked on Raiden harder than Kobe after he threw an Ava unit, and he did it by juicing. Raiden steals his Clifford the Big Red Sword with a 5-star gotcha rarity and 33% crit rate. Raiden, you have a motorcycle. Why are you sprinting there? Why don't we just relax? Yo, yo, yo. Honestly, honestly, like, that part still confuses me to this day. Because the, he parked the he he parked the bike away from the fight area, but after killing Sam, he just hauls ass and doesn't even think about the damn bike. Granted, granted, he could probably run faster than the damn bike, but that's burning energy. And he can't naturally regenerate that shit. Either way, that part always confused the hell out of me. Oh, 
Yes. Yes, that's good. Sam, dog, give me some of that. Why did McFucking breaks into NASA so he can go somewhere quickly? You see, the current president, George Bush, has made a horse <laughs> race across America. That way, he can assemble all of the votes and activate the guns of the Patriot Act. But to understand what that means, we have to head to a previous game. It's Metal Gear Solid 4 again, and the Clinton Foundation controls the entire planet. The only thing standing in their way is the now unsolid snake, because he's old. David, I want you to meet someone very important to me. His name is Joe Biden. And again, huh? I, I have kept him alive using the miracle of child sacrifice. We Damn. Over facts. And I'm gonna choose death over life. Wow, <coughs> that sure made everything easy to understand. Oh my god, it's my dad. Oh fuck up, I've returned. With I I've returned. <laughs> yeah, anyways, do you know where daddy can buy some cigarettes? Last time you got those, you disappeared for 10 years. I know. So have you ever heard <laughs> of NFT trading? No, uh, what is that? Well, you start by buying a monkey. Can you feed the monkey? Nah, but you can sell it for a rocket or some shit. That's great What the money. fuck? <laughs> yeah, right now with our transportation acquired, we blast off into fucking space. Our goal is to reach the utopia of Pakistan and stop the evil empire of America from initiating yet another military incursion called Operation Tecumseh. Finally, I have tracked yeah. down the great Satan to his source. Now this <laughs> cliff will make me a martyr. Fuck. Jock al Radin goes to the base what? So to convince the boot boys the error of their ways and appear on Indian news networks to justify nuclear conflict. Biden, have you heard of the hit game Among Us? You need to vent, Raiden. I know Shut the fuck off. <laughs> you might notice something funny about this level. It's uh, it's three rooms. The developers fucking gave up, so so do I. Raiden plays the real game until he finds the cast of iCarly. <laughs> Our whole universe was in a hot, dense state when nearly 14 million years ago, Raiden discovers his dog after being made into a Family Guy episode. No, Damn. I wanted to feed you that chocolate before a gigantic McFucking crab evolves from the goddamn soil like a thousand-year-old cicada. Muffled idol master. <laughs> well, if it isn't sussy Jack. Bro, are you high? Let me check. Yes. High on <laughs> <spirit>. Yes. <laughs> Wait a minute. The the fucking the fucking chapter thing. <laughs> I like that. That that's dedication to a bit right there. Jesus Christ. That. That's funny. That's funny. And there's nothing more American. <laughs> and there's nothing more American than shooting a man in this Walmart of a world. What is Walmart? It's heaven, Raiden. Check the internet lately. Raiden, hop on Twitter. You need to see this. Fuck, I hate this website. It's all fucking <laughs> Same. shit, Raiden. It doesn't make any sense. They're being distracted with other nonsense. These baboons don't even know they're at war with Pakistan. This one's calling me a Redditor. And that's <laughs> just the beginning. E-girls, gotcha. Memes, all just petty distractions so real men can get down to business. Amogus. And as you know, American <laughs> imperialism is absolutely justified because we had a black president once. Before I fucking killed him. That's a nice argument, Senator. Why don't you back it up with a source? My a source? source is that I made it the fuck up. Now, the reason I know that is because there, before seeing anything in this video, uh, people have been quoting this video to me. And I'm like, okay, knowing that it'd be a joke, but I, but I've seen this part on TikTok before. That's why, you know, my source that I made it the fuck up type shit. Anyway. Senator, why don't you back it up with a source? My source is that I made it the fuck up. Imagine a world ride in free of cancel culture where no one can call <laughs> me out for my outlandish claims. A world where I can say the N word. Prager you. What? <laughs> no. What the fuck? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I've got my own to debate online. <laughs> In this battle against Microsoft Excel, we are faced with a boss too large to be fun and are relegated to enduring his onslaught from the inside of the Forever Box. This battle <laughs> is a classic case of wait for him to do anything, just like Congress. And like Congress, when he does do something, it usually hurts you. Fortunately, this music <laughs> is excellent and fits one to one with All I Want for Christmas. What? I'm not joking. Huh? For some reason, but no, no, no way. No way, dude. You've got to be kidding me. Fortunately, this music is excellent and fits one to one. Hold on. I want for Christmas. 
I'm not joking. Although for Get the reason, fuck out of here. Several tons of crushed force. Maybe my sister could have done that against my stepdad. Raiden suplexes <laughs> the giant lobster for the second time today. Then he yanks off his arm to have a sword fight with it. Every other <laughs> game is now worse because they don't have this. True. Check it out, Raiden. I just got vaccinated. <laughs> Oh god, he's hot. Time to hit the gym. <laughs> I don't have much. I don't know, Jack. Maybe your face could use some work. <laughs> Hope you can afford <laughs> healthcare, Raiden, because the taxpayer can't. It's funny because thousands of people die. Don't fuck with this, Senator. <laughs> what? Snap into a slim gym. Damn. Typical politician, all cock, but no cum. <laughs> oh god, what is he gonna say next, bro? Oh my god, what the fuck? The American dream, it's all bullshit. The success of a nation is determined by materialistic and socioeconomic factors. Read a fucking book. <laughs> The truth, then. Us politicians aren't so trustworthy. We'll steal, make shit up, even lie to our voters. That's crazy. I know it's very hard but to true. believe. But that's just what the USA is all about, Jack. Not hiding our theft and murder, but embracing it. Whether it's votes, whether it's money, especially money. Fuck all these lipstick YouTubers and chicken shit Redditors. True. Fuck this 24-7 internet spew of Discord and VTuber bullshit. True. I'm gonna build a new future, Jack. One where we won't have to hide our stealing from anyone and for that i want you by my side to build a world truly free from the consequences of our actions just why couldn't this have been this fucking speech in game bro what <laughs> this speech is just as good as the original it's like the founding fathers intended what do you say raiden why not try to say it just once <laughs> i was wrong about you senator you're not cringe you're just fucking racist. Pussy too. <laughs> what the fuck was that? God damn it! We're making the mother of all olives here, Jack. Can't fret over every egg. I'm sorry, Senator, but this is my Metal Gear Rising revenge. <laughs> Fitness. What? Fitness dick in your mouth. My blood is red, white, and blue, Jack. I wonder what color yours is. Wait. Raiden, Brian Griffin. You can't <laughs> give up yet. Think about every mentally deranged moron you fought up until this point. You've always had the strength to overcome. Whether it was violence in movies or sex on TV. Oh my god, he's doing it again! A family guy. Even if your IQ was the room temperature of Alaska. You are the best Chia pet ever made. Same for a fucking speaker in his sword. <laughs> That's right, I finally uploaded my consciousness into my game. <laughs> Raiden, the reason you're cringe is not because you ain't skilled, but because you ain't ballin' on that stank-ass Windows 95 pewter. Even in death, he's on crack. Just this once, I'll lend you my setup so you can know what it's like to be a real gamer. You're my little dog champ. I've always said my sword was a tool of justice. Not a weapon, but a way to bring back those good old-fashioned values upon which we used to rely. But this isn't my sword. It's a fucking mistake. Hey, what's up? <laughs> here? You know, he can be a... This guy's a little, uh... You know, he's pretty hard. We're here after extensive cutscenes to finally teach America that violence... Wait, 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 what was that last one? We're here after extensive cutscenes... Jeez, OP. Ooh, we I pray for his sanity whenever he makes videos to finally teach America that violence is never a solution It's a question and the answer is yes <laughs> <laughs>
Dwayne the what? Rock Johnson's immense strength and talent for volcanic eruptions comes from his ability to switch between a culture vulture and Obama at will, channeling <laughs> the power of both races to whoop your ass back to Roblox. But among his many racial talents, our buff buzzard is fast, has a great singing voice, and possesses forklift certification. When you die, <laughs> it will be in accordance with OSHA regulations. But after spending <laughs> enough time in the oven, our athletic aesthetic disarms Raiden and reports to his chiropractor for an adjustment. This guy ah. beats up more biracial people than a police officer. Armstrong even has the power to receive the light of Allah, which bestows on him <laughs> miraculous healing wisdom. Needless to say, this fight is fantastic, combining and expanding on every skill we've acquired on our long and arduous journey for a final battle that truly tests our mettle. This isn't even the first time Raiden has stabbed a politician to death, but if I get my way, it won't be the fucking last. Everything he said about the fight, 100% true. And just like how I said the last time I streamed this, uh, I streamed Metal Gear Rising, still to this day, out of all the many different action games I have played, Senator Armstrong is still top action game boss I fought ever. Ever. That's amidst me playing Kingdom Hearts and Devil May Cry and Bayonetta and <clears throat> excuse me and, and 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 fucking fucking Sephiroth. That that that's amongst those titans and whatever. Armstrong is still at the top. Still at the top. And I have yet to encounter or catch wind of a fight that tops Armstrong for me. Maybe that day will come. Who knows? Who knows? You know, I'm starting to have a change of heart. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> That's why you're the best, Jack. You always wore my heart on your sleeve. Of course you have a change of heart when someone has their hand on it. <laughs> if I hear another goddamn pun. If you kill me, Jack, you'll finally be free. Free to follow your heart. Okay, that's it, buddy. <laughs> A United States Senator tragically passed away this morning after a botched open heart surgery. Honey, can we please stop watching obituaries? <laughs> we'll be on there next if you don't shut the fuck up. Oh shit, my Blackberry. Good news, Jonathan. We've got a new job opening for you. Blackberry? Ah, that's great, Doc. Yeah, anyways, it's for a ninja cyborg. Ninja cyborg? Doesn't Raiden do that? Oh yes, Raiden. Uh huh. Well, um, the police might be after him for that vehicular manslaughter. <laughs> <laughs> Manslaughter doctor, I did that shit on purpose. Yo, 